the Borneo rainforest, home to one of the most charming and adorable mammal species, the sun bears. The sun bears are the smallest, least well-known, and is one of the most rarest bear species. Their names come from the chest marks, which were said to resemble the setting or the rising of the sun. Sadly, their population is slowly dwindling due to human greed. Fortunately, there are still hope for these sun bears. This is the Borneon Sun Bears Conservation Center, the one and only center of its kind dedicated to the rescue and rehabilitation of sun bears. And it is located in Sandakan, Sabah. The facility includes large forest enclosure and viewing platforms and currently houses 43 rescued sun bears. And these are the amazing crews of the center in making sure that these sun bears are well taken care. Here are their stories. Hi, my name is Roger Robert. Nama saya Melinda Chok. Hi, nama saya David Bin Tahir. Hi, hello. Nama saya ialah Rebecca Kim Lau. My name is Wong Siu Ti. And I've been working for more than five years as a bear keeper. Di base BCC, saya kerja sebagai center coordinator. Saya keeper, senior keeper. Jawatan saya di sini ialah sebagai ticketing cam shopkeeper. I'm the founder and the chief executive officer of the Bonin Sun Bear Conservation Center. I'm originally from Bukit Metarajam, Pulau Pinang. My job as a bear keeper is more into taking care of the bear, do husbandry, observing the bear, and do some animal training. Apa yang kami buat sebenarnya pergi buat awareness lah dengan budak-budak, dengan village, pergi kampung-kampung, lepas tu pergi mungkin plantations, estate gitu bagi ya inilah program-program. Tugasan saya di bahagian dua kandang iaitu monitor membuat catatan untuk beruang yang melakukan aktiviti di kawasan zon D. Peranannya ialah menjual tiket dan merchandise dan di samping itu juga saya akan berada di platform untuk mengawasi dan menjawab pertanyaan pelancong mengenai beruang madu. As the founder of the center, my main responsibility is to set up the center and then to make sure that all of the arms, all of the works that are working here is run properly. One of the impactful memory I have here is when we release bear back to the wild. I believe me and my team, we have a mixed feeling between happy and sad. Because we feel happy because we able to set this bear free back to the wild. But we feel sad because it is the last time we're gonna see them. To be working with the sun bears is actually self a checklist. Lah juga sebab saya dapat kerja dengan wildlife dan juga dapat bagi awareness dengan generasi yang lebih muda atau generasi yang tidak tahu pasal burung madu. Kenangan manis saya selama enam tahun saya bekerja di BSBCC ialah saya boleh nampak senyuman pelancong yang datang ke sini. After the center open to the public, we have a few hard moments come from two different areas. One is when our bears escape. You know, when our bear escapes, we have to close our center to look for the bears. Another very hard moment is when there are big trees falling incidents. And in the past, there has been a few big trees that fall and damage our facilities. Uh, there was quite a hard moment. I believe it is important 
to save these endangered species along with the habitat because the important is where we're gonna send them back so they can live as a free animal. Kepentingan untuk menjaga burung madu ni sebab burung madu ni dia ada beberapa peranan di dalam hutan. Jadi kalau tiada burung madu ataupun tiada salah satu hidupan liar di dalam hutan tu, sistem tu akan roboh lah. Di pusat ini kita berpegang kepada tiga perkara iaitu pemulihan, pendidikan dan juga penyelidikan. Jadi dengan adanya pusat ini kita dapat memberikan pendedaan kepada semua orang tentang pentingnya menjaga kazana ini iaitu beruang madu supaya ia terus kekal dan sentiasa berada dalam keadaan yang baik dan terjaga. Disebabkan terlalu banyak kemusnahan hutan dan habitat liar so pentingnya memberi kesedaran kepada orang ramai betapa pentingnya melindungi haiwan liar seperti beruang madu. The importance of conserving the sun bears, I think as a Malaysian, we need to know that the sun bear carries our Malaysian identity because the scientific name of sun bears is Ilactus malayanus. Uh, some 20 years ago, the sun bear was first found in Malay Peninsula, so it carried the Malayan as a Malayan sun bear. And the second thing is that the bears play many important ecological roles. A forest with bears in it and the forest without bears in it is a very different forest. So we need to make sure that the bears can survive and can live for a long, long time in our forest so that our forest become healthy. And people need to know that because as of humans, we need clean air, clean water and stable climate. And all of these very important elements come from a healthy forest. Di Malaysia telah berlaku peningkatan kes COVID-19 secara mendadak dan untuk itu kerajaan memutuskan untuk melaksanakan perintah kawalan pergerakan di seluruh negara. Today is uh, April 28, so we have had this uh, MCO for more than a month now. So during this movement control order. Uh, the Bolin Sunbeck Conservation Centre is still going well, although we have been close to the public in, uh, since uh, March 18, but there is a team of uh, bear keepers and also our staff is working to take care of the bears at our centre. So for the bear side, everything is still remains the same. The bears are still being well fed, being well taken care of. They still come out to the forest enclosure every day and then go back to the bear house. So for the bear care, everything is still remains normal. It is only that when we close to the public, our ticketing staff, our education staff and all the office staff are forced to work from home. So this is our situation right now. I would like to take this opportunity to thank a lot of the supporters and funders uh, who have been supporting us over the last more than one month or before as well, because it is our, a difficult time for us because when we close to the public, our income has been completely cut off. So I have uh, do a pledge to ask the public to donate to us to adopt our bears and we got uh, quite a good response and thank you very much. However, uh, our campaign will not stop because we still need a lot of uh, money and funding to run the projects as we foresee that the tourism will not come back to normal anytime soon. So we have to think about the worst case scenario. So therefore, I continue to urge you to support us and uh, right now the best thing way to help us is to help us spread the words and also some donations adopt our bears and all of it. <laughs>